I'll now be looking at a very basic IKFK blend setup in KineFX. I've created an empty geometry SOP and I've called it Basic IK. In the previous video I used the skeleton node to create the joints. This time however I'll be doing this manually and I'll use the line node. By default the line will point upwards in the Y axis with point 0 at the base and point 1 at the top. By default the points will be parented based off their point number with the lower number being the parent of the higher. I want my root to be at the top in this example, so I'm going to flip the y direction by making its value negative 1. This will be a two bone chain, so I'll change the number of points to 3. There are a couple of ways I can convert these points to be suitable for rigging. The first method would be to use the rig doctor node. I'll connect this node and then I'll open the geometry spreadsheet. This node has added a name attribute, and the names are based off this prefix over here. I've added one too many points, this value should be 3. The names created by the Rig Doctor node will also be in numerical order, and they'll also be parented in ascending order. So point 0 will be parent of point 1, and point 1 will be parent of point 2. If we scroll down we'll find the transform section. Over here there's an initialize transform option and this will add transforms to our points. This is a quick and easy way to initialize the joints, but we'll use a different method. Under kinney effects we'll find the reorient joints node. This node will give us the transformation matrix that contains the rotations for the joints. I can then rename the nodes with the name node. This should be set to points. We can then use this to name the points. In this case, once again, I will use a brute force method of renaming each point number. And these will be the root, the middle, and the effector. For the moment, I'll work with the reorient joints method. I'll do this because the names root, middle, and effector are more intuitive if you come from a traditional rigging background. I'll start by adding a rig pose node. And this will give us an FK hierarchy. We'll now use the simplest way of creating IK and Kinney effects. We'll use the IK chain node. I'll plug the FK into the first input. I will then add an IK chain. Each IK chain will have three sections. The first is the FK joints, and this will have parameters for the root, the middle, and the tip. The second section will have the IK controls. There is the goal, which is the target for the effector. And then there is the twist, which controls the plane of rotation. The final section has controls to influence the constraints. I can then start selecting the points. The root will be the root point. The min name will be the middle point, and the tip will be the effector. I can now set up the controls for the IK. We do not need to make any specific controls for the IK though, as we can reuse these same points for both the IK and the FK. So I'll connect the name node to the second port of the IK chains node. I can then use these joints as controls for the IK. The middle will be the twist control, and the effector will be the goal. I will then add a rig pose node for the IK controls. And I'll create a null for the output. This will give me my most basic IK setup. I can then select the pose node and move the joints. And we will have nothing happening. This is because the blend is set to 0. If I select the IK chains node and set the blend to 1, I'll get the IK. These controls, however, are far from ideal. This is because the controls retain the hierarchy from our chain. I'll want to remove both of these joints from their current hierarchy. To do this, I'll use the reparent node. I will add one reparent parameter. 
I will then use an asterisk and this will be a wildcard for all of the controls. Leaving the parent parameter open will move these joints to the root of the hierarchy. Unparenting these points removes the line primitives from between them. Lines and kinney effects can be seen as a display of the hierarchy. I can now use the points independently of each other to control the IK. Now I can attach controls to the rig, so I'll get an attached control geometry node, and I'll connect this before the pose rig node. I'm going to use a control node for the IK controls. I'll then add a name node, and the name will be set to IK. I'll connect this node to the attached control geometry node, and I'll set the control type to be box. I can then add a group for the middle and effector points. And connect them to the IK control. This will give me cubes for my IK controls. I will repeat the process for the FK. Once again, I'll get an attached geometry node. I'll use a standard box geometry node for the control. I'll name this control FK. I'll attach this node to all my joints using an asterisk. I now have controls for both the IK and the FK. So now the basic IK setup is working. There's still a couple of things which I can update though. One fix we can make is with our IK controls. Currently I have three controls for the IK. The root, the middle and the effector. But I do not need the root. I can delete this point using the blast node. The group will be zero as this is the first point, And we'll set the type to points. This will remove the root joint, but it should have no influence on either the effector or the middle joint. The next thing we'll work on is the visibility of the controls. I'll get a visibility node. I'll then connect the visibility between the control and the attached control geometry node. I'll do this for both the IK and the FK controls. The visibility will be driven by the blend parameter on the IK chains node. I will copy the blend parameter. I'll then select the visibility node and I'll paste the relative reference for this on the action parameter. I will do this for both nodes. I will need to edit the expression in the FK node. I will open the expression editor for the parameter and we'll change the expression to be 1 minus the blend channel. Now the blend parameter can control the visibility of the IK and the FK joints. And that is my basic IK FK setup. Next we'll need to make it more accessible while setting it up as an HDA.